Scout Signal Arcade Decor number 104 Volleyball Positions. We have a volleyball game in a traditional sense, and well, those are the number of players in their respective positions. We have the general movement after each round, which means clockwise movement. In a given picture, we see it much better. Three moves to two, and then two moves to one, one moves to six, and so on and so forth. This is how the board is represented. <laughs> And we need to kind of determine how was the positioning initially, given that like K rounds have passed. So the like the most common way to do this would be just to simply simulate the process backwards and simply see where what was the position initially. And of course, most importantly, K ten to the power of nine. We don't need to do ten to, to the power of nine times. We just need to do it. <coughs> Uh, the reminder to the six times because every six times it gets to the same position so we basically need to like, only do it either from zero one two three to five times so for the simulating well there are actually multiple ways to do this we can actually keep a map which will actually tell us which position goes to which position and then use that to basically uh, simulate the whole process. So it will be a map of pairs to pairs. Let's call it an M. Okay, so there are going to be six of them. Let's uh, write the skeleton. Let's say uh, make pair equals to make pair something. And copy this. What the hell did I just press? Whatever six times. Okay, and now let's feel how the process would look like backwards. So let's start <coughs> from the north and move clockwise. So three would actually, so since the four was to go to the position of the three, so backwards it would be the position, we always go row first and then column. So zero, what the fuck, zero one would go to the position one zero. Fair enough. So now the two, the position one two, would go to the position zero one. Okay, uh, now the one. So the one which is on the position three two would go to the position. We're doing this backwards. Uh, zero one, the previous one. Okay, the position the six which is on the two one would go for the backwards it would go to 3 2 of course so the 5 would go to the 6th place which is the position of 3 0 uh, would go to to 1 and last the position 1 0 would go to Three zero. Okay, so this is the backwards logic. So now, all we have to do is to use this data to do this k reminder to the six times. Okay, so the temp would be our formation. Formation. Yeah. Okay. So. Now, what we want to do is to just go over all the elements of our map, which would be element in M. Okay, so element shows which goes where, which basically means a temp M, which goes where, which means, let's say, um, let's call this a source, and the destination would be no, actually, let's call this an element. This is uh, much, much better. So, for this element, the source would be um, auto. Source would be the first, and the destination would be the second. Okay, so this means who goes where. In other words, temporary destination at first, destination at second equals our initial formation source that uh, source that first source that second 
Okay, this is fair enough. And then update the formation. Formation equals our temporary object. And return the formation. Okay. Let's check this on the samples. Yeah, some of them passed, some of them didn't. It's gonna be... Okay, so the ones which passed are the divisors of six, right? Uh, of course. Because we didn't perform a any movement on them. Okay, let's check it out. Zero, one. goes to one zero fair enough I, can, I think I actually should look at the differences so output and expected output player one managed to come here so this was a two so player one that should have been a player two so the player one is actually here looks so like kinda did one two okay checking the map so the guy on zero one would go to one zero, the guy on one two would go to zero one, the guy on three two would go to Yeah, not the best ones. So the guy on three two would go to one two. Okay. I don't know whether everything else is correct or not. Let's see. Uh, fair enough. And and we are done. Thanks for watching.